YouTube people. So today's video is kind of like second part to my first video that I made on motivation. That video, I mean, I've kind of changed my ways since then, so I thought I'd share with you like an updated routine of how I stay motivated to eat healthy, go to the gym, all that fun stuff, and as well as avoid junk food basically. For the most part. I can't say I'm perfect, but I do my best that I can. I have a list of 11 things, <laughs> I literally wrote this out, 11 things to do on a day that I have no motivation whatsoever. So we're just going to go through the list, I'll explain why I wrote each thing. Alright, so number one is drink a glass of water. If you're having cravings for food, just like can't think right now, like all you want is to eat junk food and there's something in front of you, just go drink whole glass of water, huge glass of water, just down it and see how you feel after to give yourself a few minutes. It always helps kind of calm you down a little bit. It doesn't have to be water. It can be like tea, it can be some coffee, just something that will kind of like quench your thirst and like normally you think you're hungry, you hear this all the time, but it might just be that you're thirsty. So try that, that's the first thing. Next thing is if you are still worried about like cheating or you don't want to go to the gym that day, then take out a piece of paper and write down three things that you are grateful for. And so two and three kind of go like hand in hand a bit. And then write down three reasons. So this is number three, sorry. Write down three reasons why you were doing this after you write down three things that you are grateful for. So think to yourself, like really seriously, why are you doing this? Why are you dieting? Find three important reasons of why you were doing this. And next, write down how you'd feel if you skip your workout. How would you feel if you skip your workout and you ate junk today? What would you feel like after? Just describe that. Like, what do you think you would feel like? And then number five is write down how you'd feel if you completed your workout and if you didn't eat junk today. If you actually followed your plan, stuck to everything, how would you feel? Write that down as well. And then just take some time to sort of like reflect on what you've written and just think about it for a minute. And that usually helps me at least. But if it does not, you can go on to the next step, step six, which is for me, watch a YouTube video, a YouTube video from one of your favorite fitness people or someone who like motivates you every day. Watch one of their videos, listen to them talk, see what they're doing. I don't know why, but for me, this always gives me some motivation knowing someone's out there doing the same thing I'm doing and they're sticking to their plan and they can do it. So that always helps. So try watching a video from one of your favorite like fitness YouTubers. The next thing, number seven, is read self-help books. Or just part of one, just start one. You can find them as ebooks online anywhere. But read part of a self help book or just have one ready that you can read when you need to because I swear these books help so much with motivation. Just find one that's good that you think is great for you. I think one of the ones I was reading was like Think Think Big or something like that, um, was the title. Uh, there was another one I was reading. I can't think of the name right now, but I'll put it in the description below if I can think of it. Actually, Miracle Morning was another one I was reading. But honestly, they help so much, and there's so many useful like quotes and ideas in there. So read just a little bit of one of those books, just a couple pages. And I always find that kind of like takes me out of my funk a little bit. Number eight after that is watch a motivational speech on YouTube or just listen to one. Um, I find motivational speeches so helpful. I used to listen to them while I worked out too. I think that sometimes it's better than music because you just have someone yelling at you the whole time. And I don't know, I've always loved them. So definitely try listening to a motivation, motivational speech. There's quite a few good ones out there. Again, I'll try and like link one below if I can think of it. And the next is read over Okay, this is like more personal towards me, but read over your quote wall or look at your vision board. For me, I made a wall of quotes, like just sticky notes. I wrote like every single motivational quote that I've ever loved because I had like a list of them on my laptop. So I put all of them onto sticky notes and I stuck them all over the inside of my cupboard. And I look at that whenever I'm having like a crappy day and I just like find the best quotes that can relate to me that day. Go off of that. That is so helpful. Again, I found a lot of these quotes in like self-help books, so if you want to read one of those or like motivational stories, 
that's a good way to grab some quotes, make like a board. You can also do a vision board, as people say, like things that you want to envision yourself. Envision, I guess, in your future. So like a board of like what you want your ideal body to look like, like how you want to be like confident, like put the word confident, um, just like for things that you can like say to yourself repeatedly, you know? So boards with things on it that you want in your life, basically. So that's like a huge thing and <laughs> next thing is number 10 put on your favorite song and dance for me this works because I love dancing than like working on a certain type of dance but you can honestly just dance to whatever just dance your feelings out and I find that putting on music something that like motivates me or a song I normally listen to at the gym is actually so helpful because then you get that feeling like you know that like you're so used to listening to that song at the gym that like you kind of get in that mindset again and like you think of the gym and I don't know how but this sort of motivates me not to like eat bad or not to not work out um I just find music so helpful like if I'm listening to a motivational song like I don't want to go eat bad or something it's so weird but just try it try listening to music music is so powerful with your thoughts and like also if you don't want to do a workout like put on a good song just listen to a good song and like even just start driving to the gym just put on like some really good music that normally motivates you and I find like once you start putting on music like your feelings just change I don't know maybe this is just me but I find it's a very good way to avoid things and then the last one one of the most important points is don't think just go do what you need to do to get it done. So basically, like some of the quotes I have in my room is like, don't think, just do it. All you gotta do is just completely zone out of your thoughts. Like if you're having a bad day, if you feel fat, if you just like have messed up a few days before, just put all of that out of your mind. Like just be a robot. As bad as that sounds, just be a robot for one day. Just all you gotta do, drive to the gym, like step on a treadmill, just start. Don't think about anything like how long you're gonna do or who's watching or like how you look that day. Just start. Just don't think about anything. Just be like, I'm a robot. This is what I do. <laughs> so weird, but honestly, it's like the last resort that I have and it works every time. And you're so happy once you're done. You end up doing more than you think you could do. It's just amazing what you can do when all you do is just just do it just like Nike says just do it <laughs> so yeah anyways that is my list of 11 things that I do to stay motivated or on days where I'm having low motivation there's obviously a lot of other things that you can do like look at inspirational pictures like pictures of you when you were leaner or something like that I know I do like, try not to compare yourself to anyone else that's not a good way to motivate yourself also if you're having like really bad cravings one day like eat a little bit of something that you like just don't go overboard on it like indulge a little bit but just don't go over the top and you'll be fine because overall in the long term like it's just about staying consistent like 90% of the time 10% of the time you can like go off plan a little bit so as always don't be too hard on yourself and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video which should have better can't talk <laughs> which should have better camera quality than this because I have gotten my new camera all charged and ready so yeah anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later bye